What's up guys, I got a 2011 Kia Soul here, I'm going to show you how to replace the trim A-pillar piece that goes on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, I've got my new one kind of just sitting here in the groove and stuff, I'll explain a little bit more and pop that in on this video where we're doing it. Uh, first things first, if you happen to have your old trim piece as I have here, uh, this is a decent guide because you want to double check the parts that you're ordering and everything. Um, uh, outside of that, when you're removing your old piece, you're going to have all these clips that are on the... Uh, pillar itself that are going to be a pain in the butt to pop off and they're going to end up breaking like this one with the plastic on the outside as you can see it's kind of just worn down and everything else uh, on the clear coat um, you just have to take it apart uh, there's multiple methods but the one i recommend is getting a pry bar set this one happens to be from o'reilly's it's their uh, performance tool not sponsored by them at all you can use any i was thinking about getting a harbor freight or even in, you know, something on ebay as a knockoff and as you can see, I've got a ton of parts that are actually just kind of broken off from all this, as well as our weather stripping. So this piece actually does come with a new weather stripping, so you don't have to worry about this. And it actually sits on the inside guideline here, runs all the way up this whole piece. And that's really just to keep the water out, because what this is, is it's a water channel. Um, and this does get dirty because whenever you wash your car and stuff, your dirt's gonna go down. But there's like a little bit of an edge here and uh, dirt and moisture just gets in here over time and it gets it dirty because whenever you take this off it could be dirty uh, pretty bad underneath mine actually i had to clean it up i used 70 percent uh, isopropyl alcohol on a rag to get it done but uh, we're going to put this on here i've got it in the groove here so the easiest way to do this if you don't know is that i don't have the top piece on this but the bottom piece there is a little notch groove here as you can see and what you want to do is you want to stick that in between the fender here and then there's going to be two pieces i actually have it still on here uh this is another way to tell the, this particular model has the two clips on the bottom it does not have it on the top as you can see here so if you get those two in here you can just run it up all the way and i'll show you how real easy this is so once you get those two bottom ones in all you gotta do is just get up here it might be a little hard to see but I got this clip. Yeah, it's a little easy to see there. And then I'm just going to push that in. Once that goes in, I can work my way down. It might be a little bit of a pain. In fact, this one actually is not that bad. It seems like it's going in all the way, actually. Uh, I don't really hear it popping. Now, the other side did pop all the way. But this one seems like it just went in flawlessly, which is pretty good and as you can see at the top here we have a little bit more weather stripping that kind of runs up here at the top and it will run down the channel on your windshield and this kind of tries to keep moisture and stuff so we can just run down here so i got this little piece that runs all the way up and there we go and that's all you need to do